What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about shoes. Specifically, Nike and New Balance. So I know that I have posted a little short review on my Nike SBs when they were brand new. And although I still really enjoy them, there are some things that have changed about them over time and with skating them and breaking them in. So we're going to talk about that today, as well as my New Balances, and we're going to compare them side by side with, uh, in every way that you can think of. So anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so, the Nija 2 Nike SBs, right? You got this really nice looking, slick ass shoe, right? Really, really fresh. And honestly, I love the way they look, and I love the way they skate when they're new. Now, the thing about these Nike SBs is that, yeah, they are really nice, and yeah, they do skate really good for about, I don't know, a few days. <laughs> After that, when, the, when you break them in, it depends on your foot. So, I have a really wide foot. I'm very wide-footed and I'm very flat-footed. So once I broke these shoes in, I started to realize that they were really uncomfortable when I did flip tricks. This part right here of the shoe, right, it is, how do I explain this? My foot rolls over this part of the shoe while it's in the shoe. I don't understand it. I mean, I keep the laces pretty snug. I've never had an issue like that with shoes in my entire life where when my foot is in, okay, let's just do this. When my foot is inside the shoe, it's almost like, you see that? You see that right there? That's what happens. That is my pinky, but imagine that being my toe. It rolls over top of this sole. I found that to be really weird, and honestly, it hurt my feet really bad. I mean, like, it, it, to the point that I would be doing flip tricks, and it would happen so often when I would not land a trick that it hurt my back. I mean, it actually hurt my damn back because the shoe couldn't keep my foot in place, or the shoe wouldn't stay in place around my foot. Okay, so I'm goofy-footed when it comes to, uh, you know, flip tricks, but it's weird because my stance for transition is completely different. Like, mini ramps and all of that, I, I do it regular-footed. But, focus on flip tricks. <laughs> okay, so this is my right shoe, you know, because I'm goofy. I, I don't know if I can get it to focus, plus I layered them in shoe goo to prevent it from getting any worse. We'll start with the sole of the shoe when it comes to wear and tear. So as you can see, there isn't really that much wear and tear. Right here, it's thinned out slightly. Not that bad, but enough to notice, I guess. Not while you're skating, but visually you can notice that it's slightly worn out. But they still have really good grip. Now when it comes to the wear on the side, I did notice that they do tend to wear out so i have a hole right here in the mesh and of course there is another layer underneath which is cool but then there's also the wear here and then there's also the little kickflip holes here you probably can't really tell because i've layered the shoe in shoe goo and then of course there's the infamous two straps here that we're starting to wear and tear and then, oddly enough, even my shoelace started getting tattered up here. Never had that happen. It was really weird. So the Nija 2 Nike SB, uh, good shoe if you're not wide-footed. Um, Nija, I suggest you make a shoe that is more wide-foot friendly because I feel like there's a lot of wide-footed people out there who probably have the same issue. I don't know. I just have never had that experience with any other shoe and I'm assuming that it's because I'm wide-footed and I, I mean my foot just literally rolls over the sole of the shoe 
while my foot is in the shoe. It's really weird. So I'm not going to skate the Nyjia 2s anymore. Not because I don't love them, not because I don't think they're nice, not because they don't skate well. It's because they're not made for people with wide feet to skate in, which is kind of insulting in a way because I've never experienced that with a skate shoe before and I spent more money on those shoes than I've ever spent in my life on skate shoes. So my wife's not going to be happy about that. I'm 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 honestly not even going to get my money's worth back out of them. I'm probably going to get 20 bucks just because nobody wants to buy a used pair of Nyjas for, you know, 50 bucks. I spent like $115 on those shoes and I'm never spending that much money on a pair of Nike's again. Sorry. I mean, unless you can convince me otherwise, <laughs> I'm never buying Nike again just because of the simple fact that my foot should not roll over the shoe like that. Now, my opinion on the New Balances is quite different from the Nikes. Of course, they're completely different companies and their shoes are designed completely different. So, of course, my opinions would differ. Gosh, Tim, use your brain. Okay, so, here's the New Balances I have. As you can see, they're hideous. Like, what the hell is going on with them toes, right? What the hell is going on with them toes? You know what I'm saying? Look at that toe. It's like, oh my god. And it's not even because my hand's there. Like, look, it's just, it's just like that. I found that to be really weird and really ugly. And that is exactly why I bought the Nyjia 2s. Because they looked like they would stay crispy. Which, for the most part, they have. But performance-wise... These babies right here, they're where it's at when it comes to performance, when it comes to a good skate shoe. Uh, first of all, if you look at how wide the shoe is, right? Look at how wide that is. Especially right up here. So as you can see, these are a lot more wide than the Nike SB. So these New Balances are the New Balance Numeric two tens and when you first buy them they look really nice and you see them and you're like these are just a really nice pair of mids right just a real nice pair of mids when you first buy them they have you know a shape about like this and they look good really nice shoes and they they hold they hold up really nicely when it comes to like Flip, holes from flip tricks and stuff there isn't any okay okay so here's my flip foot right and it's a little bit looser the material loosened up a little bit more compared to the left foot like it's flexible like this is this is what you got going on with the new balance so these new balances although they're ugly as hell once they break in i mean i really hate when shoes do this like what the hell is that but their performance makes them worth wearing over any other skate shoe in my opinion i've never felt so much comfort out of a skate shoe and at the same time still having board feel and board control honestly sometimes when i'm wearing these i feel like i'm wearing house slippers because they're so comfortable so when it comes to the wear on flip tricks when it comes to these new balance 210s um okay if you notice Right here on the on the sole, there is some slight wear. It's a I don't know if you can actually see it because my camera sucks and I need to get a new camera. So the only place that there's been wear from flip tricks is right here along the toe. When it comes to the actual material, I mean it's it's in so much better condition than the Nike SBs. I honestly can see these shoes lasting so much longer than those Nyjas would have ever lasted. The fact that I spent half the amount of money on these that I did the Nyjas make me regret ever spending money on any other shoe except New Balance. Now I know I said that the 210s were half the price and they really were compared to like, you know, I mean when, you, when you're talking like $115 versus $60 or something. I mean, that's a big difference on your wallet, especially when, you know, you're living life on a slight budget. So yeah, the New Balance may not be pretty, 
but it sure as hell outperforms the Nike SB, the Nija 2 Nike SB at least. I can only speak for that shoe because that's the only Nike I've ever owned. So when it comes to the New Balance Numeric 210, I gotta say, it's the shoe for me. At least New Balance in general. Unless I try another New Balance and don't like it at all, then from now on, I'm skating New Balance. Because it's comfortable, it's durable, they may not always look pretty after a few months of wear, or after a few weeks of wear even, depending on how hard you go on them, but they're comfortable and reliable. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, if you have any other questions about my experience with these two pairs of shoes, just drop it in the comments. And don't forget to like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like the content that I put out, please subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of viewers who are not subscribed and I could really use the support, guys. Also, if you want to have your own personal skate park at home, go ahead and just click on the link for Ramp Tech's website down in the description, and you will find the best deals on the best ramps that you can get. All right, see you all next time.